Hi everyone and welcome back to CBO Wellness, Chill Vibes Only. My name is Allie and today I'm going to be reviewing the Lily 3 Vibrator by Leo. If you're new to this channel, we talk about sex, relationships, and I also do vibrator reviews. The reason why I like to try out different vibrators for you guys and review them online is because I feel like, at least when I was growing up, having a vibrator was a little bit more taboo, not many people talked about it, and it was hard to figure out which one was the best one for you to try, especially if you're just starting out with masturbation or getting your first vibrator. You wanna understand what each different type of vibrator does and what type of vibrator might work better for your body. And it's helpful when you can hear someone else try it out for you before you make that big investment and purchase and you wanna feel comfortable and confident. And I know for sure I've tried out vibrators before that just don't work for me and don't work for my body and I really would've appreciated just having a chat with someone because now I can usually decide like, oh, okay, like, you know, that's more of like a suction-y vibrator versus a vibrating type of vibrator or an external vibrator versus an internal vibrator. And I've kind of just through my own masturbation journey figured out what works for me and my body. Um, so I'm always trying to share with you guys so you can kind of see what tools and toys out there might work best for your body, whether that be solo or partnered play. So yeah, today I'm going to be reviewing the Lily 3. This toy is created by Leo. They actually sent me this toy along with the Leo Dot and the Aura 3. So stay tuned for those review videos coming out soon. If they are already up, I'll make sure to link them down in the bio below. So you can take a look at all three and decide what vibrator will be the best for you. So yeah, they did send me these, but I am gonna give my honest opinion and review. I've tried these out for a few weeks now, played around with them with a partner, without a partner, um, and I do have some thoughts. So hopefully this will help you guys with deciding what type of vibrator you may wanna buy. And if you have any questions at all, please feel free to comment down below or you can always DM me on Instagram at CBO Wellness. I'm always happy to answer questions and help you guys out. All right, so the Lily 3 is the most affordable of all three vibrators that I got sent. It's about $79 Canadian. Um, they have it on a deal right now because I believe it's like their 20th anniversary of this vibrator. Um, so if you are interested in a more affordable vibrator, um, this is definitely gonna get you the most bang for your buck. It's small, really compact, so it's really great to travel with. It has two buttons, so it's very simple. Basically, you turn it on, and it starts to vibrate and then you can kind of vary the intensity that you're looking for. Also, if you press the other button, it's going to go through the different modes. So it has 10 settings and eight different vibration patterns. So you can go from like one to 10 on terms of intensity and then one to eight on different types of vibration patterns. So like there's the typical standard vibration and then there's pulsing, murmurs. So yeah, you can really kind of get creative and play around with this toy. The vibrator is I don't think it's very loud. I actually think this is probably the like most quiet one out of all three that I've tried. Not that you should be ashamed to have your vibrator be heard, uh, but it is definitely pretty quiet. Like it's just a murmur. It's definitely not silent though. So if you're looking for like a dead silent vibrator, this isn't gonna be your choice, um, but it is pretty quiet. To turn it off, you just kind of hold down the button until it goes off. The way the vibrator arrives is in a discreet box, discreet packaging. Again, if you want to keep it more discreet, I don't think you should have to, but don't worry about, you know, it coming to your door that says Leo on it. It comes in just like a plain black packaging. Um, I thought it was really nice. They include a little traveler's pouch for you, and then they also include their um, lube. So it is a silicone based toy and it's a water based formula ideal for the silicone toys. I did take some notes so I'll just read off some of the specifics about this toy because I usually get questions about these things. So it does have 10 settings, it's travel friendly, it's certified body safe, it's made out of silicone and it lasts up to two hours. When I got the toy it didn't come charged so that was a little bit of a bummer. I had to charge it myself and wait but I mean, it's not the end of the world. Um, so just know if you order the toy and it's not charged, you can easily plug it in and charge it and then it will last for two hours. It is a hard material, so like this isn't bendable. I reviewed the Reina by um, Vibes Only and theirs was like a bendable toy. This one is definitely staying in its spot. Um, and it's kind of nice because it's shaped to like lie on your clit. So you can kind of face it like face down right on your clit and just hold it there if you want 
or of course you can always hold the top part here and move it around and see different sensations. I've personally used this solo and with my partner, so my partner used this on me, which is kind of nice because it was like a hands-free experience. I definitely think this is like a great beginner toy just because it's small, it's easy, it's compact, it gets the job done. It definitely doesn't have anything too wild going on about it. It's just another vibrator. Um, for me personally, I like just the basic sensation of the vibration, so I don't really love the pulsing or the different settings. Um, so I found myself just kind of going to the main vibrating source uh, and turning up the intensity on that. One thing I will note is that because they, you only have two settings here, it did take a little while for me to like understand how to get to the setting that I wanted. And I had to flip through a couple and same with my partner, um, just to kind of get it on that one intense vibration. Uh, so it just takes a little bit more to learn and play around with, so just don't be discouraged if you get this and, you know, you have it on the pulse. I would usually try to, like, turn on the toy myself and just see how it vibrates and then set it to the setting that I'm looking to try and go for that. Um, if you're not sure what kind of setting you like, that's when it's great. Just kind of, like, flip through them and you'll see and explore um, what feels good on your body. The Lily 3 is also... 100% waterproof so you can take it in the shower um, or in the bath. I think it's really great for shower sex again just because it's like compact. Um, if you're looking for that clitoral stimulation um, in order for you to have an orgasm through P and V penetration, I think this is great for the shower just because it's easy to hold and it fits really nicely in the palm of your hand. I'll definitely be taking this one traveling with me. Um, I think it's just like super easy to throw in your purse. If you own a lot of vibrators and you've had a, a bunch of different toys, this one could kind of be maybe your travel or your standard toy, or if you're a new person looking to get into vibrators and you want to get something that's really simple and easy to start with, I think this is a great option. Uh, it definitely got me off. I think if you're someone who loves vibration and not suction, this is a great starting toy. But if you're somebody who really likes um, the suction, so like think about the womanizer um, or any of those ones that kind of blow air on your clit, then this might not be the toy for you just because it is purely vibration. So just keep that in mind. So yeah, overall, I think it's a great toy. It definitely didn't blow me out of the water or anything, but I think it's a really good standard one to start off with if you're just getting into sex toys. All right, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you found it helpful. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe because that really helps this channel. And if you want to check out our Instagram page for more positive sex advice, give us a follow at CBO Wellness. Thanks so much and have a great rest of your day.